Good day, this is Brad Caleb B. And you know by now, that means that I continue to work on the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. Let's uh, check out and see farm. how this works Today out. Today I'm gonna show you how to use your three-point mounted post hole digger on your John Deere 5 Series tractor. Before we get started today, let's go over a few safety procedures. First is to call 811, which will allow a company to come out and locate all of your underground utility lines before you start to dig. Next is to make sure that there are no loose articles of clothing or loose hair on the operator or anyone who may be near the auger while in use. And always remember to keep a safe distance. Do you just notice what happened? I turned off the equipment for a moment and then come back and start all over. And there is no sound because the microphone was turned off for a moment. That's the same what I am trying to avoid while we are talking. I want you to be totally tuned in. It is very imperative to understand that when we're talking restorative justice, PMS versus PMS, I want you to understand the small little differences. In this case, this morning, uh, as I'm taping this, it was only for one second turning it off and turning it on and there is no sound. Very easily manipulated. And this is what happens in real life. So let's pay attention, folks, because this is serious stuff. Your life depends on it. That is right. This is so much fun watching animals. Animals in themselves are awesome. But what can they do? It's way better. Look at these little chicks. Nature is awesome in itself and will take care of itself as well. And of course, we got to see this here. Amazing. Now, why am I sharing this for you and with you? I want you and me to be on the same line. Are you the biohackers that take control over the health, physically as well as spiritually? See, we cannot just be fantastic, healthy. And yes, I am a firm believer of health. I told you and I shared with people that I am 70 years of age. I was born in June 1950. That brings it at 2020 that I'm 70 years plus. And yes, we can be 120 years and vigorous and strong. There are secrets to life. And some people have it naturally. Other people have to work at it. For me, it was being paralyzed first at age 16. And when we got married and my wife and I got our first one, when he passed away and died in my own arms, I tell you, that shook me up like there was no tomorrow. Being paralyzed, that was easier to deal with than having my son dead in my arms and bury him. I tell you, that taught me so much. And then when we finally start climbing in Canada and our finances and business and our finances started to grow, we got an office and big offers and personnel and whatever. What I had used, what I used to have in Holland, and what I had worked for in Canada. Now we had all that. We were so called, you know, whatever you want to call it. We had arrived. We had what the Canadian dream or the American dream was. But reality, when there is no happiness, you can have that helicopter, you can have that plane, you can have that beautiful car, and others are jealous. So let me ask you, in case, just in case, so that we are on the same line, are we biohackers that take control over our own health and physical as well as spiritual? See, if you're only looking at looking like a buff person, looking well, you know, I can find those in jail. I was there quite some time. I didn't like it either. But you can work out day and night and look fantastic, but you're still an empty shell. I want you equipped with a healthy soul and a healthy life. Are you that person? Then we can talk. Otherwise, just flip the switch because you don't listen to this anyway. See, many people come to the understanding that we have been submitting ourselves to a shifting baseline syndrome. It is a disease, an SBS disease. You can go to your doctor and say, what is SBS 
And he said, oh, wait a minute. And maybe he has to look up his dictionary. Shifting baseline syndrome. It's not something I made. But what is restorative justice? <laughs> That's a and word that you're not hear very often. Restorative justice leaves clues. And the short answer is that restorative justice is a relationship reviver. It revives the life, the soul in your life. Now, I'm sure that there are people that say about well, what is a restorative justice. Now, that is what this is all about. Restorative justice is that justice will be restored. It will be brought back to what it was supposed to be. And as I mentioned, it leaves clues. And the short answer, as I mentioned, is it is a relationship reviver. So if you have a poor relationship, this will definitely give it a boost and will upgrade your relationship. It's all about relationship. And as we as mankind so poorly deal with it, it is maybe time that you take a course in it. Because I took that course. It is all about relationship. I married this year, 44 year plus. And when I met my wife, I don't know what happened there, but we gradually got to know each other. We married after nine months. We got married. We got our house. We started in the business. Or we, I was already in the business, but I continued doing business. And then we started in a ministry. Reaping Harvest Outreach, a non-profit organization. And we shared the gospel. We shared it through music. But in our relationships, I noticed something. My wife, that was not a businesswoman, had something in her that she could tell me, Bob, be very careful with this person. She had that special ability of sensing that something was not right. And I've noticed that in other people too. Quite often they are women. Women seem to be, for one strange reason or another, they are not equipped differently, but they are also more sensitive to spiritual matters that we men, we seem to fail. Just in a little example. Here in the Netherlands, uh, I noticed that when you go to a bar, and you hold one up and you just want to share a beer with somebody else that and that is all before the pandemic you said something like hey you're stupid you asshole or you did or you that in fun this was a hey happy one now during the pandemic and after the um, well, not even after but we are in the pandemic you can't offer a body your body a beer anymore because the toast is not only an insult, they don't allow you to insult each other on a friendly basis. Because it turns out that those places are spreaders, super spreaders. That is only in the States when you are Mr. Trump. But it is a spreader. It is a place where people come together. This, they are more open. They Whatever they do. And it seems that people are picking up a virus. But when you see the TV commercials, it looks funny. But in reality, when you call a person like that on the wrong time, in other words, you call a person an a-hole when he is on the street, that person can turn into a graced individual, turn around and stab you to death only because you mentioned the word at the wrong time at the wrong place. So like a commercial can be extremely funny, reality is that relationships is what this is all about. This is not a TV commercial. So please folks, pay attention. Because the relationship for God the Creator is especially important. And where we get so many differences of opinion we need, we still need and require a jury of 12 for this court case. Remember, we're dealing with restorative justice, PMS versus PMS, part two. 
All I ask for in this case, I'm looking for 15 jury members to sit in this court. Would you be open-minded enough to follow me in my attempt to settle this matter properly and according to the laws of God?